In this short video, I want to review the Brooks C17 saddle, and um, this one is for you, Ben. So this is the first actual cycling-related video on this channel for a little while. Imagine that, a cycling channel with uh, no cycling videos. But uh, my first thoughts on the saddle, on this Brooks C17 saddle, it's the one with the cutaway. Um, and I'll show you a bit closer in just a second. But my, my first thought was that it solved the problem that I got it for. So I was using a specialized, not a specialized phenom, but it was one of the other body geometry ones, one of the cheaper ones that came with my specialized sector bike. And um, I was having mass, massive saddle pain from that after about 100 kilometers of riding to the point that I couldn't sit down. <laughs> I was just out of the saddle all the time, just slow cadence out the saddle because it was too painful to sit down. The first thing I want to say about this seat is it really looks apart. It looks like a classic touring saddle. You've got all the um, standard Brooks attachment loops here and it's a standard two rail saddle so it'll go on any post and it's, I like this color, you can get it in various colors and um, I sort of like the slightly worn look that this takes on. Um, the rivets, it looks very classic, but I would say that having these rivets in here makes it slightly less comfortable than it otherwise could be, because, especially the front one. Because for me now, I'm, my flexibility is improving, my fitness is improving, and I'm trying to get more down lower, a bit more aero on the bike. And this long nose, and how hard the nose is, is really not ideal for that. So sometimes you're literally sitting part of you is sitting a little bit on this rivet and you can actually see how I've put a little bit of a score into this um, from sitting so far forwards and so from that point of view that's the biggest downside for me with this saddle so overall I'd give it my like a 7 out of 10 maybe because it is expensive it can cost you over a hundred pounds for this and I just don't think it's worth that at all I think um, if you're a heavier person um, you're probably going to do better with this than if you're a lighter person. I'm about 68 kilos generally and with the cutout it is fairly flexible but it's not as flexy as it looked from when I saw reviews and I saw people doing this sort of thing on reviews and I thought oh wow that looks like it would be like sitting in a rubber hammock just wafting you along but I don't really find it to be like that. I don't it's not revolutionary it's obviously much much better than the one I, I was coming from but Still in the future, I can see going with something else, maybe something that's got a softer front or even one of those drop-away fronts that's better for getting down low. Um, what else can I say? So for, yeah, for touring and for upright riding, when you're looking around, just sightseeing, it's perfect. It, it, it'll do the job nicely, but it's not a speedy saddle. It's, it's quite wide. It's not, you know, I've got it on this road bike frame, but overall I'm using this bike for touring. So... It's more of a, definitely more of a touring saddle. Don't get this thinking that you're going to be comfortable if you're doing, you know, crits or keeping up with fast bunches or whatever, because you, you're just not. Obviously, get the right one for width. This is a 17. You've also got the 19 and the 15, and you can also get it with or without the cutaway. So try and sit on the different ones and make sure the ones, the one you get is right for the sit bones. I personally don't think you should get ever get the one without the cutaway because it's just not not even as flexible as this one and also I just think if you're a bloke having this cutaway here is is crucial is essential for a, a saddle any saddle so that's my thoughts it, it's overall I wouldn't say it's worth the money but it if it was a bit cheaper it would be a lot better um, the best thing about it really is the way it looks <laughs> and for touring when if, if you're a heavier person and you've got a lot of weight on the bike, the flexibility, the sort of rubberized flexibility of it is, is good. And so for what it's made for as a touring saddle, pretty good. Keeping up with fast bunches on it though can be a little bit uncomfortable. So in terms of wear, I've been riding this seat for about 4,000 kilometers and the only bits of wear that you can see are a little bit here. There's a bit just on the cutout and on the other side here there's a, another frayed area and they, those have only come um, this one here the biggest one this one here has only come about because uh, the bike brushed up against something or, or dropped and um, it's 
I'm just going to try and focus that a bit better. It's not because uh, of sitting in a saddle. The only bit that's come from sitting is the bit that's in here. But again, I mean, you decide. Do you think that's acceptable for 4,000 kilometers of riding? For me, the seat still looks pretty new. I still kind of think about it as pretty new. But um, yeah, it's up to you. I, I sort of quite like the distressed look as well of this coloring i think for a brook saddle to not look old and worn it's almost um a bit sacrilegious but hey that's maybe me so yeah make your own decision watch some other reviews and if you like it give one a go